So here's something you don't see every day. Right now I'm at a Tesla supercharger. You can see right back there, it looks like one of them is broken. Now the cool thing is about gas versus electric, I can actually see how many chargers are available around me. So let me just show you real quick. So it looks like something's going on with that supercharger and you can see all the other Teslas right there charging their vehicles. Let me show you this. So when you get to a charging station, you can actually see three of six are available. Now, whenever you're driving to a gas station, you're not gonna have any idea how long the wait is. Now, if you wanna see all the superchargers, I can hit this button, nearest supercharger. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull up an entire list on my screen of superchargers. This is the one that we are at. This one has 14 bays available and so on. Now, the thing you might not know about these superchargers, actually, we don't need to navigate to it. We're already there. I can zoom in and check this out. There's different prices for different times of day. This is the peak hours. So 49 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, the way to save is most people charge at home, but these are great and they update in real time. Now, the one thing that's interesting, I see some of them are not being used, but Teslas are still in the spot, which you shouldn't do. There are fees for that. $1 per minute for idling fees. Now, that's if you're plugged in and you've completed your charge. So these are a lot of things you might not have known about a Tesla charger. They do go down sometimes. Tesla does report it on their availability map and you're gonna see some fees if you're just hanging out after your charge. And obviously that just promotes a good rotation of available chargers. So now you know.